We'll begin with our sports director, Randy McElvoy, live at the Greenbrier. Randy, nobody wants to hear about injuries this early, right? Not at all. This is a coach's nightmare, specifically for Bill O'Brien, a second week at camp. Good news for uh, Will Fuller. If all things go well, he should be ready, hopefully, for the second half of the season. Uh, it's about to start his second year. He was a rookie a year ago, but now he's down, as you mentioned, with a broken collarbone. It happened at the morning practice here at the Greenbrier uh, this morning, uh, late this morning, their seventh workout of camp. Estimates are that Fuller will be out a minimum of two months. Could stretch to three or maybe more. It all depends on the recovery and rehab after surgery. Fuller suffered the injury during team drills today. I want to emphasize during a non-shooting period for the media uh, when he landed awkwardly on his shoulder while defended by safety K.J. Dillon. Fuller, who has not had a great camp so far, was then taken off the field by team trainers. Now look at uh, Fuller's history and how he got to this point with the Texans. Of course, he was drafted by the Texans in the first round last year. Speedy wide receiver at Notre Dame. Really fast. Fast as 40, by the way, at the combine for his position. An offensive weapon for sure. Texans will certainly feel it without him being on the roster for the immediate future. Now with Fuller out, that's going to open the door for some of his teammates, guys like uh, Braxton Miller, Jalen Strong. They're going to get more reps now in practice. Preseason will open next week. We'll see how this all unfolds. We've got more from the Texans. We'll hear from Bill O'Brien and a live report from Minute Maid Park coming up in sports. We'll see you then.